I purchased a stupid amount of products from Sephora. Also, the lighting this video, I did have my ring light on and, or like my big huge lights. It didn't look right. It didn't look right. And I was like, you know what? We're filming with natural light. We're going to roll with it. So if it looks a little jank, blame the sun, not me. Okay. The amount of products that I have here is overwhelming. It is um, December. No, it's not. It's, Jan it's not January either. It's November. It's November 29th, actually. Um, so I've had a little bit of a while to like get a feel of these products, see if I like them, see if I don't, etc. My point is I've had these for a hot minute. Okay. I've tried to film this video 17 times. I had an emotional breakdown in one. Um, not really. I just, the lighting was terrible. Everything looked bad. And then I just sat in the floor in my bra for a while to like cool off, you know? And then I was like, we'll do it another day. It's not that big of a deal. So here we are. It's another day. I have stupid amounts of things to talk about. I'm going to be on it in no particular order. Let's get into it. So you know that I was going to buy this. You knew that I was. People messaged me. I saw it. I said, I'm getting it. It's the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes Palette. This is what it looks like if you haven't seen it. I don't know if you follow any beauty things at all, how you haven't, if you haven't. She's stunning. She's beautiful. Something about this particular form. My skin looks good, okay? Um, something about this particular formula just hits home. It hits right. I don't know what kind of addictive substance that he put in this particular palette but it is addictive and it's phenomenal and it's beautiful it's a beautiful beautiful palette these glitter shades right here hands down the best glitters i've ever used in my entire life i've used pat mcgrath i own pat mcgrath um there's something in these i'm telling you right now phenomenal next up is a charlotte tilbury product this is the charlotte tilbury beautiful skin concealer um i bought mine in the shade five medium and the shade three in i want to say this is what the applicator looks like this is what um, it kind of holds like a lot of product in the actual applicator. It's very neat. Very just different. I do feel like this packaging is a little bit cheaper than a lot of Charlotte Tilbury packaging that I would normally pick or go for. So it's like my, I just made up a word right then. It's not like my personal journey as far as packaging goes. But then again, who really cares if what's inside is, is great? You know, what's inside counts. Anyway. Um, so there's that. I think that the shade 5 in is too dark for me. I like a really bright under eye for me personally. That's just my journey, okay? I do really like this. I think it's beautiful. I need to play around with it some more. I still love my Ilia. Today I used the Lancome and it looks really nice. I actually hate my eye makeup though. I'm not sure why. Anyways, the Lancome or the um, Charlotte Tilbury is really nice. I'm just not sure if I'm like dying for it. The next product is another Charlotte Tilbury product. This is the Beautifying Face Palette. The packaging is absolutely stunning. So it's like the Pillow Talk. It has um, shades you can be used for your eyes or your cheeks. We've got two highlighter shades and two blushes, which are kind of like iridescent, really beautiful blushes. Um, for reference, I've done that so many times recently. So many times I have just absolutely taken chunks out of my products on accident and that really bothers me like what is up with that we're moving on i talked about this in a i didn't actually get this in the sale but i figured i would include it in this because well it's a free country so house house labs this is the triclone i don't know why they named this the triclone the triclone skin tech foundation it's what i have on my face at this very moment i do have a pimple don't you dare look at it um I don't know why they call it that. The packaging of this, phenomenal. Absolutely amazing. The pump on it, the aesthetic of it, I just adore. This is the best foundation I think I've ever... Why are you not focusing, to be honest? This is the best foundation I think I've ever used in my entire life. I have mine in the shade 250N, if I'm not mistaken, or 280N. Is it 280? Yeah, 280 light medium neutral. Um, wonderful color match, wonderful foundation. Looks extremely healthy on the skin, looks vibrant, looks beautiful. I live, breathe, and die for this. And if they came out with a concealer, I'd snag it right up. I want to try some more stuff from House Labs. So, House Labs, how about you send me some things if you want? You know, like, let me know. Lil Judy. Oh, Jill Woody. Oh, my gosh. I read that backwards. What's wrong with my brain? Okay. Another I love Charlotte Tilbury. Get over it. This is the, the Super Nudes Easy Eye Palette. I picked this up because you guys know if you watch my videos, I use the... Um, the other eye palette that looks just like this, but it's like more of a pinky tone. I don't remember what it's specifically called, but I use it every single day for my inner corner highlight, specifically just the inner corner highlight. So I picked this one up and clearly have been dipping in and using it. And let me tell you, I love it. It's phenomenal. It's a really good palette. It's beautiful. It ha packs a punch. They're easy to blend. They're beautiful. Just like the epitome of Charlotte Tilbury elegance in packaging, in 
the formula and the blendability in the pigment and everything. It's just there. It's stunning. I do love that. So, hooray for that. Continuing on Charlotte Tilbury. The Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Powder. This is the Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Eye and Face Micro Powder. So, this is the one that I got. This is the um, white one. It's supposed to be like a translucent. I'm going to go ahead and let you know right now. It does have like a little bit of a white cast. We'll see if you can see it on the back of my hand. But it is incredibly brightening. So if you're looking for something to brighten skin or to give you like an overall like brighter appearance, maybe for your under eyes, a beautiful like wedding day powder sort of vibe. Um, it's not pink like the Givenchy or like the Prism. Oh, that is the Givenchy. It's not pink. It's white, so it brightens, but it's almost, I don't know, I'm gonna have to play around with it some more, but like I don't feel like I have to have this just because I had the Givenchy and I have the um, the other Charlotte Tilbury in the shade medium too. So I'm gonna play around. I'm gonna give you my opinion, but I'm I'm not positive at this very moment. Um, we have some more Charlotte Tilbury products. Imagine that. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Spray. I had just heard really good things about this and never used it um, until now, and I do really like it. I think it works really well, but. Do I think that the Milani Make It Last, Stay All Day, whatever the heck it's called, works just as well? I do. I think it's really nice. Um, and it's a more affordable product. Then I got two lip liners from Charlotte Tilbury. I got the shade Super Size Me and the shade Love Trap. These are the two little colors. Hopefully you'll be able to see that. It's more of like a plummy neutral color and then like a little bit deeper than um, Pillow Talk. I just really like her lip liners. I feel like the formula is really nice. I love lip liners in general. That's why I bought it. Moving on. So finally, we are out of some Charlotte Tilbury products, but I have a feeling that we'll probably get back in there. This is a product that I posted about on Instagram and told everyone to get. So if you don't follow me on Instagram or TikTok, make sure that you do. Katie Fawn on all platforms. Um, this is the Hourglass Elephant Palette. This doesn't look that exciting to me. It doesn't look that exciting. It's not something that would capture my attention in Sephora. I'd just be like, oh, it's another Hourglass Palette. I don't know what Hourglass did this year that was different than all their other palettes because they had the Ghost and they had, you know, like the regular like baked Hourglass palettes. Something in this palette played me like a fiddle. I went in that store, I swatched it, and I was like, you're coming home with me. You're coming home with me right now. Actually, get in the bag. I secured the bag. Absolutely beautiful. So they did something different. They did something different and innovative in this palette. The shades up here, the blushes that I'm using um, on my cheeks. I also have on the Rare Beauty Happy Blush underneath, but nevertheless, like I have on these as toppers. I'll use this bronzer and this highlight mixed every single day of my life. Even if I don't have makeup on, it just gives you a beautiful glow. Like it's just so, so, so nice. And I just love it. These are really nice if you want to set your makeup. It's just a warm, beautiful, healthy skin look in a palette. So if you're looking for something that like those, those sort of vibes speak to you, just like healthy, beautiful skin, um, just very elegant and very put together, very like Rosie Huntington Whiteley vibes, very just pretty woman, like those sort of vibes speak to you. This is that palette. I feel like it's a very pretty it girl palette and it's really good. So this elephant palette she also the mirror is beautiful like I use the mirror all the time it's just a really good mirror um so yeah that's that I picked this up because Hailey Bieber said she used it and I said fair enough so this is the tower 28 SOS spray and it is the save our skin daily rescue facial spray I use this if my skin's being irritated my hormones are acting a fool so I had a pimple right here and I popped it right before I started filming like a little fool like a little foolish girl um, so I put this on my face and I was like, am I Hailey Bieber, to be honest? Turns out I'm not. And, um, but it did help my skin. Like it made my skin feel better. Cause it's like going through a phase where it's very dry and just like not, not the vibe these days. So that's that. Brielle, my friend who is the makeup artist and I've talked about many, many times. She's wonderfully talented and amazing. She used this Makeup Forever, um, artist color pencil in the shade Endless Cacao on me. I've also seen like Alana Davidson talk about this. Why are you not focusing? What are you good for? Okay, whatever. You get the point. You can see that it's like, okay, there we go. It's like a brownie. It's a cool tone brown, pretty much. So she used this on my waterline. She used this on um, my upper lash line. It was just like an, and, it, and she also used this on my lips, I want to say too, to like give it a cool tone effect. And I was just like, you know what? I don't have a shade like that. So let me just pick that up and have that in my collection. Have that as like, just a little, a little something in my arsenal. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? 
I also picked this up. This is the Nude Sticks. I don't know what this is called, if you may be honest with you. Um, I am Transcendence. I don't... I have no idea. I have no idea. Nude Sticks, to me, is a brand that doesn't really get talked about a lot because I feel like a lot of the times they just miss the mark on their marketing, you know? And, like, I love them to death. They have really good products, but it's like... They have a, they're very niche, and I feel like sometimes they need to break out of their niche. That's just my two cents, though. So, this is um, what it looks like on the front. It's like this little tin can, as Nude Six does. Then you've got a bunch of eyeshadows, and then you have um, a lip product, and then a lip um, gloss. But this was extremely sticky, and I did not like it. Um, it also had like an iridescent pink glow, and that's, that's just like not my vibe, not my journey. But these are really nice, and I've actually ended up using them multiple times. The Magnetic Luminous Eye Colors in the shade Dew Wop and Copper are my favorites. And then um, the lip colors in the shade Boho, but I'm not a very like brown lip color kind of girl. But these are really nice, and I enjoy them. I don't know that I'll end up keeping this because I only like like one or two shades out of the whole kit, and it was expensive, you know, so... I picked up another of the Ilia Fullest Volume Mascaras. I'm sure you guys have seen me talk about this a thousand times. Um, this is what it looks like. Beautiful, 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 phenomenal mascara. Love it. That's what I'm wearing my lashes today. My lashes today are kind of acting foolish, though. So, I mean, it be what it be, though. You know what I mean? It be what it be. I picked this up. This is the Happy Holidays Beautiful Benababe Jingle Brow Boulevard Brows. Um, so, it came with... All their like little benefit brow stuff it has their benefit brow setter it has the um gimme brow and then the precisely my brow pencil and then i got all these in the shade 3.5 and then i also got the gimme brow goals um it has the gimme brow goals and then the brow volumizing pencil so this is what it looks like this is what this one looks like and then it also came with some stickers which was cute um, it was just a nice little holiday gift set for, like, to, to get all their products in one, pretty much. That's why I purchased it. Um, but I'm testing it out, and I'm not crazy about really anything. Like, I mean, I like it all. It's fun. I don't have anything bad to say about it or, like, against it. It's just, like, you know, whatever. Also, I'm on a healthy hair girl, healthy hair. I'm on a hair journey for healthy hair whatever. Anyway, my hairstylist, Kira, love her to death. She's a wonderful hairstylist, literally has anointed hands by the Lord himself. Um, she told me, we were talking about pureology. We always talk about hair and beauty and all the things. We were talking about pureology and she was like, that's one of the best, most well-developed brands like to, in today's time. Like it's a beautiful, wonderful brand and they have really good formulas. And so I got the strength cure and she said she loved that. And then it came with this little 21 color fanatic, 21 essential benefits color fanatic. Um, whatever it's called like a leave-in treatment and it like does a bunch of stuff i've been using it and i do really enjoy it i like it a whole lot um but i've been using it <laughs> plot twist so that's that um i also love this this is the radiant rhythm sol de janeiro kit i will actually use this today i already had this so i'm finishing that up but i've been using this for i guess like a week and a half two weeks now and then like i just love this smell like specifically this smell from sol de janeiro i feel like it's very sexy and elegant and very pretty just really nice. Like, I just like it a whole lot. It's actually open right here because it comes with the travel size. I have bought the full size too, and it's in my shower. So, I have that one. And then I have the full size of this in my shower. This is the full size. And then this little body spray. So, that's nice. Um, I will say one product that I know I did not. Um, one product I have that I did not that I won't be mentioning or that won't be showing because I talk about it in a video and it's in my closet and I just really don't want to go get it is the commodity. It's the brand commodity. It's a fragrance company from Sephora now. Um, their milk fragrance. And I just posted a video. It's a couple videos back, I believe now, um, about my favorite fall and winter fragrances for 2022. That is, was purchased in the Sephora sale. And then I also purchased my boyfriend, um, the Tom Ford ombre leather, uh, cologne i purchased him that and then but i already gave it to him it was supposed to be for christmas but i got it for him and i got excited because you get excited about stuff but anyways i bought that so that's nice then i bought this i don't want to i don't want to deal with these tin cans anymore like i just don't like they get on my nerves but this is the um benefit letters to lashes um 
mascaras. So this is these are the three mascaras. It has the They're Real, the Bad Gal Bang, and the Roller Lash. I don't think I'm going to keep them just because I won't go through that many mascaras and I didn't love them whenever I tried them. Like, it's just, like, not my personal journey. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like, mm, no. Somebody just left me a mean review. I took a TikTok break, honestly. I shouldn't have done that, but I did, and it is what it is. Next up, we have this Tom Ford um, Eye and Lip Mini Set. I'm definitely not keeping this. Full disclosure, I'm absolutely not keeping it. Um, I just don't love the shades that are in it, and it just doesn't speak to me. So, this is what it looks like. This is what comes in it. You get two mini lipsticks, and they are quite literally this size. Okay. It's a good thing that I actually have somewhat big lips. I if I were to use those lipsticks four times, they'd be gone. I still love you, though, Tom. I love you, Tom. That's beautiful. It just doesn't speak to me. It just doesn't speak to me. Honeymoon, the Honeymoon palette still gives me everything that needs to be gave as far as, like, Tom Ford eyeshadows go. And, like, that's just that. You know, like, that's just that. Goodbye. Um, I also picked up this blush trio from Rare Beauty. So, you get the shade Encourage, Happy, and Truth. Um, but the big one is Encourage. So, it's, like, this mauve shade. And then you get two minis, Happy and Truth. And, like... None of them speak to me except for happy. Like, no. Potentially, but no. This one I did use the other day and it looked fine. Like, it was cute, but like, no. What else do we have in here? Um, This Hourglass palette. So, I was like, oh, I love the elephant one so much. I will pick up the tiger one. And so, then I got it. Turns out I hate it because it's so dark. Now, if you have really dark skin, it'll be absolutely beautiful. But this is, like, I'm talking you have to be dark dark extremely dark to be able to pull this off it's a very pigmented very very pigmented and just um packs a punch the other ones in that in the elephant are more like subtle light buildable like glowy light shades if you were to put that on your face you'd spend the next 30 minutes trying to blend it out you know what i mean <laughs> calm down calm down um i picked up another of the patrick ta brow elimination gels because um quite frankly i just needed one so i picked it up it's called Wisely Investing. I picked up these two hair masks. This is the Day Monsoon Moisture Mask. I love the brand Day. I've talked about them multiple times on my channel. I love pretty much everything that they have. I use their shampoo and conditioner, their wave spray, their um, moisture. Like, they're everything. I just love Day. And then this, the Way Fine to Medium Hair um, Mask. I've just heard so many good things about this. Like, I've heard so many people talk about this. I was like, let me snag one. Let me just snag one right up. So, guess what? I did. Okay. Also, I picked up this Patrick Ta She's a Doll blush. I've been living for a pink blush. Living. And you look at this and you're like, um, that's intimidating. You're not wrong, Melinda. You're not wrong. It is intimidating. This has this little clear thing for um, to protect the cream so it doesn't get dirty with your powder. It is indeed pigmented. She's a pigmented girl. Um, but she blends out beautifully. And I just think that, the, especially in the wintertime, that that is just a beautiful pop of color. I have, I thought I had two brushes over here. What'd I do with them? I love a little pink moment. I just think that it adds, look at that, like just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit. And it just adds so much more life and like, I don't know, just like a literal life to your face. It just makes you look cute and put together. And I don't know, like I just love a pink blush. So she's a doll. Also, she was out of stock for a thousand years. She came back, I said, you're done, you're mine. Purchased, purchased in the bag, secured immediately, if not sooner. Um, I also picked up this because Brielle used this on me. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, as if you don't know what this is. As if anyone doesn't know what this is. If you know anything about makeup or like you care about makeup, you've seen this a thousand times, probably 4,000. I got the shade Vanilla, I believe. Chantilly. I got Chantilly, I got Vanilla, and I got another shade, um, but they're God knows where. So, that's that. I also picked up... Um, two perfumes from Kaoli. I picked this one up. This is the Kaoli Invite Only Amber Perfume. It very much so is extremely amberish in the most beautiful way. Extremely elegant, beautiful, sexy, beautiful perfume. And you guys know that I love Kaoli. Like, their packaging, their everything. Kaoli doesn't do any wrong in my eyes. No wrong. I ain't smelled that Eden Juicy Apple and because I ain't no apple smelling girl, but whatever. Let me tell you a story about this perfume. This is the Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper Perfume from Kaoli. I didn't even realize that I was getting this large of a bottle. I was unaware. But I went to the movies with my boyfriend. And we were sitting there. We were watching. Um, I could not tell you to save my life actually what we were watching. I have no idea. But anyways, we were sitting there and he kept telling me. He was like, you smell so good. You smell 
so good. And I was like, oh, thank you so much. You know, like, whatever. I took a shower before I went to the movies. That'll do it. I took a shower, but then I put on this perfume. And he kept saying, like, you smell so good. Like, you smell so good. He probably said it 20 times in the movie theater. And then leaving, he was like, you smell so good. And I said, let me tell you something. I had a miniature. I had a miniature. Um, I had this size of this. And I got in my car and I immediately ordered the biggest size that they had. Because he said that I smelled good a thousand times. And if I thought to myself, like, if I even thought, like, oh, this is not really that good of a scent. To have him tell me that I smelled that good so many times, I would order a gallon. I will bathe in it daily, actually. Um, I mean, like, yeah, I think it smells good. But it's not, like, anything to write home about. But let me tell you, he wrote home and then he wrote home again. And then he called the newspaper to tell him about it. Not really, but it seemed that way. So I said, you know what? Consider it purchased. Consider it purchased. Uh, the next thing I got was this milk makeup. It came in this cute little bag. I thought that was cute. It's the Hydro Grip set. Um, it's the Hydro Grip Primer, which you guys have probably seen and heard about a thousand times. Why is this not focusing? I don't know. And it also came with the Hydro Grip Spray, but I have this spray over there on my counter and I'm not going to go get it. But nevertheless, you get it. Whatever. Um, Hydro Grip. Perfect. We love it. Then I picked up this, which was such a good idea of me. I'm so glad I did that. I just need to find it because I put it, I put the liner somewhere and I don't know, I don't know where I found it. Okay. This is the Kat Von D or no, I'm sorry. Sorry. It's not Kat Von D. It's KVD Vegan Beauty now, but it is the, um, waterproof tattoo liner duo. I got black and I got brown. So there's that. I just wanted to have some really good liquid liners. I feel like I didn't have any that like I lived, breathed, and died for. So, picked those up. That's that. Moving on to the... Oh, I got this too. I forgot all about this. This is funny. This is the Brazilian um, Crush Charosa 68. This is the Baccarat Rouge 540 dupe from um, Sol de Janeiro. And I don't think it smells identical to it, but it smells like the body spray version. This is a little bit more like... Um, floral than Baccarat Rouge 540 is, but it still smells delicious. And it's a much, 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 much cheaper alternative to Baccarat Rouge 540. And it's like, you don't feel bad because you can spray a ton as body spray. You know, it just smells nice. I got this Gisu, Gisu, I don't, I don't rightly know. Um, anyway, this is the Honey Infused Hydration Set. Here's the box. We don't care about the box. Here's the product that's in it. So it comes with the hair mask, the honey infused leave-in conditioner, and then this honey infused hair oil. I purchased, oh, and it also comes with the hair perfume, but I don't know, I don't really know where it's at, if we're all being honest with one another. Here it is. This is what it looks like. Their packaging is so stupidly cute. Like, look at that. Phenomenal. Man, that smells good. Mmm. I like that. I'm going to spray this in my hair, too. The packaging's not that, like, expensive feeling, but I don't really care because it's so cute. Like, who gives a crap if when it looks like this? Anyway, moral of the story, I picked this up because they sent me this, and it is the absolute, hands-down, best hair oil I've ever used in my entire life. In my entire life, I will never pick up another hair oil over this one again that I own. Unless I come, come across one that's better than this, this will remain to be my number one for here until I tell you different. It's phenomenal. It doesn't weigh your hair down. It makes your hair feel so silky. It's beautiful. It is a beautiful, beautiful product. Like, it's just so, so good. So, that's great. I picked it up. That, that's the moral of the story. Um, also, I picked up... I completely forgot that I did this. I'm crazy. I picked up the um, 3.4 ounce perfume of the Kaoli Vanilla 28. If you can't tell, I love Kaoli. Like, I just love Kaoli. Y'all know I do be staying... <laughs> I stay smelling good. One thing about me is I'm going to be rolling up smelling good. So that's that. So I picked that up. I also picked up a mini of the mini or the Charlotte Tilbury um, setting spray, the flawless setting spray. Picked that up. Then I picked up a Christmas present for um, my boyfriend. I already told him about it though because again, I get excited. So sue me. This is the, these are such good gifts. This is the Sephora Favorites Cologne Sampler. So they come with like this little travel bag. So you get all this, then you get all of these colognes as a sample. And then there's a card inside and you take the card 
you like get a sample, your boyfriend or you or whoever gets a sample, all these colognes, and it has really good ones this year. I had Ombre Leather, the YSL Y, Gucci Guilty, Jazz Club, the Pink Valentino, Spice Bomb, Prada, Invicta, like just really, really good um, popular colognes. Also more expensive colognes, but the card inside you redeem, you take it to the Sephora and you redeem it for a full size of one of these fragrance. Come on, that's genius. So you get it for $72, but the cologne itself is like usually well over $130, $150. I know this one's $150. So I mean like $72 for all these as a sample to figure out which one you like and then a full size for, for, for free for them. Sign me up eight times, okay? Full transparency, I forgot I bought this. I looked at this bag and said I have no idea what's in there. Not one. Not one clue. But then I realized that I do have a clue and I do know what it's in here. So this is the Moroccan oil set. Um, let me see if I can just dump this out, actually. Perfect. That's a nice bag. It's cute. So this is the set that I purchased. This is the Moroccan oil hydration um, shampoo and conditioner. So we've got the shampoo, the conditioner. You also have a um, hand wash, evidently, and then a Moroccan oil treatment. So that's cute. Um, I bought this because my friend Caitlin James, you know the one, you know the one we filmed together multiple times. Um, she loves Moroccan oil and she always talks about how good it is. And she was like, listen, I don't care. I don't care what anybody says. Moroccan oil is the best. And so I said, S consider me influenced by you. Consider it purchased. And that was that. That was the end of the story. That was that. You guys, this is the last product. Thank God, because I'm exhausted. This is the Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Invisible UV Flawless Primer. Flawless looking skin. Charlotte, baby girl, Charlotte. What's the reason for your continuous names? You know what it is. It's this primer. For some reason, this feels so, like, um, not full. It says it's one ounce, but I guess we're, like, it's just bigger and squeezes out. I don't really know. But anyway... It's a really glowy primer, and it has SPF 46, SPF 50. What did I say? SPF 50 um, in it. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand and show you guys. I've seen Kensington on TikTok always talk about this, and it does look beautiful. So that's that. I love that. Um, it doesn't really have a smell at all, so I'm interested to try it out. The... Um, it's UVA and UVB, if I do recall correctly. It does have shea butter, so it's not non-acne, or it's not acne safe, per se. But it is lower on the list. But then sometimes the things that are uh, not deemed acne safe still don't break me out. So I'm just going to see. I'm just going to play around and see. Um, see the vibes. Check it out, you know. But thank God. That's it. That's all the products. That's everything I purchased from Sephora, I think. I'm pretty sure. There might be more. But that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will have everything linked down below in case you want to shop anything. Please send me video ideas because I am indeed going to do Vlogmas. So I need lots of ideas so you all can tell me what you want to see. I'm looking at a product right now on the floor. I'm looking at a product that I didn't freaking talk about. <laughs> it's okay. That's that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And have a fabulous day.